Hello everyone, Jeff from RespawnStudios.com and EasyXbox360Achievements.com back with part 4 of my character's guide for LEGO Harry Potter years 5 to 7. This will be the final guide and I think we are covering 52 characters. Um, this is in the mission as you're trying to make your way back to Hogwarts in year 7. This green key is just in the street and when you blow up uh, this middle section you are able to make this little hut, so you just put the key in the hut. A guy runs out with no pants, it looks like, and then you get the character token. Um, this is later in that same mission, I believe. You are supposed to be dueling those guys, but if you run past them, and you have to do this in free play, because you need a dark magic character, you uh, use dark magic to open that chest, and you get Electo Caro. Alright, this is in the storage area. Um, this is off of the area where the Weasley Owls mission was, but you can come out here from any um, any time from uh, one of the doors of Hogwarts. And you just use Hermione and you get Argus Filch. Okay, this was um, one of the, again, Year 7 missions. This is when you're trying to make your way upstairs to fight the snake. Um, this is one of the side rooms. There is a piece on the ground that um, I think you had to be a dark wizard for, and you put the piece through that, like, ringer. <laughs> well, you need dark magic to open the room anyway. And then you put the piece through that little ringer, and you get the character token. All right, this is the, um, I believe, it's called Not So Merry Christmas. Uh, you need to be using Ron to use the deluminator. You move the light from there. Um, in front of the burrow over here it creates these flowers and then you have to hit the flowers and eventually it's going to pop out a giant flower which um, is also a propeller into the air and then you just jump up onto it and brings you up and get Bill Weasley wedding Alright, this is um, in Bellatrix Lestrange's vault. You again have to be a dark wizard, so this has to be in free play. And you just um, use dark magic on the chest, put the scroll on the wall, and you get the character token. This is in um, another story mission. You're, um, this is with Professor Slughorn, where you have to give him a drink. But at the back, if you put out the fires, you're able to get Cormac's suit. This is uh, one of the last story missions. I think this is Snape's Tears. Um, again, you have to do it in a free play because you need to use someone with a key. And if you just scroll through your characters, you'll always have one. So in that case, I'm Mrs. Cole. And you just unlock that. Um, this is when you're dueling Bellatrix in one of the Year 7 missions. This is after you've dueled two people right before you duel her. Uh, make sure to go over to that fireplace and use dark magic. So again, it's in free play and you'll always have a dark wizard. Alright, this is another story mission. This is with Draco in the bathroom where he's hiding in a stall. Um, you're able to use dark magic and break open that back area with the urinals. And there's um, a student in peril back there, but more importantly for the characters, um, you need to use Ron, use the deluminator to bring the light over here. And then it makes uh, Draco's suit come out. All right. This is, um, again, in a story mission. I believe this is um, the start of year seven. This might be the seven potters, I think. Um, this is a side bathroom. You have to... Uh, use the bathtub which makes these bubbles come out and then they make the guy get off the toilet and you get Dumbledore. Alright, this is now in the cave mission at the end of year six. You again have to do it in free play with a dark wizard. This is why um, where you have to make bridges across the water before the main section with all the inferi. Just go over there to the right and use dark magic. Alright, this is the story mission um, with Umbridge in the forest. And you have to use Agumenti on all of these flowers, and then you have to hit the flowers with spells. And then when you've hit the last one, you get Emmeline Vance. 
All right, this is, I believe, again, the Snape's Tears mission. This is the very start of it. You just go behind this uh, Weasley walkway and use dark magic, and you get Fenrir Greyback. This is again in the uh, outdoor area of Hogwarts, where you did the Fred and George Owls mission in year five. Um, you find these different crests by basically running around the area and hitting crap with spells, as I do. <laughs> And then um, that last one, the Slytherin one I was showing you, uh, you just hit the Slytherin banner, and then you get the character token when all four are in place. Okay, as you can see, Ron is being affected by the love potion, so this is again during a story mission, but in free play. You put out the fire, and then you have to use a character with an animal, so I'm switching frantically through characters. <laughs> um, and now, as Hermione, I'm using Crookshanks to dig. And there we go, Ginny Weasley. Okay, this is in the Slytherin common room. Um, you have to use Agumenti on that water tank next to the one snake. And then when it's filled up, um, this lever over there you jump on, and it causes the one snake to shoot water across to the other, which apparently blows it up. <laughs> and you're able to get a uh, Goyle Jumper. Okay, this is in the uh, Fiendy Fire, I believe it's called, mission. You just need to switch to, again, a character with a key, which the default one is Mrs. Cole. And then you just open it up. This is in the uh, Ministry of Magic mission, where you have to break in. You need to use uh, Dark Wizard. You hit that um, light, and it makes a, uh, I guess, trolley car, <laughs> or tram car come along. And then you put the... Um, Weasley walkway up and then bring the Weasley box over with Guardian Leviosa. Switch to a Weasley character and then walk up and you get Grip Hook. Alright, this is another story mission. This is the very end. Um, this is the end of year six. I believe this is called Horcrux in the Hand. Before you enter that duel, which ends the mission, be sure to walk around, and you have to use that strong pull to get it. All right, this is the mission Felix Felicis. Uh, I believe this is the beginning of that area, um, where you have to get, well, not the beginning of the mission, but the beginning of this area. Um, this is as you're working your way toward Aragog to extract the um, Acromantula Venom for um, Professor Slughorn. You just have to use Hermione's beaded bag there, and you get Hagrid. This is uh, when you're infiltrating the Ministry of Magic again. You have to. This is the very start of that mission. Um, you come over here to the left, but again, this has to be in free play because um, I don't believe you're able to use Hermione during the mission. And then you uh, just put in the correct sequence, and you get Albert Runcorn. All right, this is again the Fiendy Fire mission. Um, you have to spray water in three different areas, but if you fly backward toward you, um, there are two areas at the back, and each one has a character token. Um, here, <laughs> I see it's on the ground underneath me, and I kept trying to fall. Um, you have to, that object behind me, you have to keep hitting it, and eventually it, uh, you can make a crane. You have to be Arthur Weasley to repair a crane, and it pulls up the character token. So that's how you get that. All right, this is Slughorn's party. I believe you have to use dark magic to come out onto this um, balcony. And then as Hermione, you use the beaded bag. And you get this object, which you then have to bring back into the party. It's an anvil. And it pulls down, uh, pulls open this curtain. Then you're able to get these pieces to get the um, quibbler box. So you're able to get the glasses. And now with the glasses, we're going to head over toward the fireplace. Now we put the picture together. I'm trying to hit it with a spell. I don't realize that there's that circle on the ground. So I have to stand in that and then hit a button. <laughs> And there we go. Harry Christmas. 
All right, this is back in the mission with Bethilda Bagshot. With, uh, this is now during the snake battle. All right, with this, um, a quick note, there are three parts to it, and that's the last part. Um, you have to hit the spiders that are hanging down. There's one per each of the two rooms downstairs, and then that spider is in the second section of the snake boss battle. All right, this one is um, where Ron has to destroy the locket with the Sword of Gryffindor. You have to use Hermione's beaded bag to create the mushroom jump. And then when you're up here, you have to use the quibbler box. And then there are three points that um, you need the glasses to be able to see the pieces to put together. And then when you put together the third and final one, um, you get the character token. Hermione gray coat. All right, this is it back in uh, Bellatrix Lestrange's vault. Uh, you have to use dark magic in that object back there, which gives you this weird golden skull, which you put up uh, between the other two, and they do this weird sort of look-at-each-other dance. And then after spitting out some studs, you get Hermione Gringotts. Okay, this is um, in the Ministry of Magic. This is um, with the prophecy. This is while you're running away from Death Eaters, but you get to this sort of lull area. You have to use Agamenti to fill that up and then spin it, and you get Hermione Jumper. All right, back in the Ministry of Magic, this is a different mission. Um, this is when you're infiltrating. It's about halfway into the level. You just need to be a dark wizard in free play to break open that elevator door. You get the student in peril and the Hermione Mafalda token. Okay, this is um, in the House of Black. Oh, I think this is actually the mission uh, Not So Merry Christmas. I don't know. <laughs> but um, it's the one in the Sirius Black's house. All right, this is in the graveyard as you're making your way through Godric's Hollow. You have to have used dark magic to make a Weasley box. And then with the Weasley box, the firecrackers blow open this area. And then there's a statue standing right where I am now that you just hit. And the character token is under um, that statue once you destroy it. All right, this is back in that same area where we just had to fill the tank with Agamenti where you're running away from the Death Eaters in the Prophecy Hall. All right, this is now in, um, I believe this is year seven, This uh, seven Harrys when we're outside trying to put together the car. You have to use uh, dark magic on the uh, garage, and then you're able to fill the rocket with water and jump on the part to shoot into the air, and you get Mad-Eye Moody. All right, this is back in... Uh, the bar where we were earlier, this is with Slughorn where he's looking for the drink. There's this side room that you need dark magic to blow open. So again, free play. And then once you're in there, you can just jump on the couch and it shoots you into the air to get Madame Rosmerta. All right, this one, um, I was confused how to get for a while, but you just have to jump onto the top of this box. <laughs> this is uh, in Hogsmeade outside of the three broomsticks. You just jump on top of there. So I'm showing you there. You just have to double jump. There's no other way to get up there as far as I know. Okay, this is now um, where you're recruiting Professor Slughorn, so I believe this is 6-1. You had to dig out this spot for Hermione to use the beaded bag. And it creates this plant, which gives you Milkman. Alright, this is um, the top of Diagon Alley. We're in the um, Leaky Cauldron. And I'm showing you this because there's um, the potion area right there. So you could switch to someone with a key. Because otherwise, I don't think you could just cycle through characters when you're in Diagon Alley. So I go to Mrs. Cole because she's one of the people able to use a key. And the goblins also, like Griphook. But you come out here to the streets of London, and there's that box. You just use some, the character with the key, and you get Ministry Guard. All right, this is yet another story mission. Uh, this is, as, as you see, we're trying to get into the um, Slytherin Vault. 
in the Chamber of Secrets. You had to have uh, used dark magic, I believe, to be able to use that Hermione point. And then I was confused for a while. I was like, can you use a spell on this? So I think this video runs on for a while. Um, it's actually south of the screen of where I am. Confused. The arrows are sometimes misleading, so I'm like trying to shoot everything around it. I was like, what am I missing? It seems to be related to this object. I actually get the uh, Ravenclaw... <laughs> Uh, Hogwarts Crest for the mission. Alright, but now as we make our way down here, you have to use dark magic on these pieces. And now um, this dig spot. So switch back to Hermione to use Crookshanks. And you dig up this little green piece. And now you bring that over to the snake. And now you get Neville Cardigan. All right, this is at the start of the mission. Um, I believe it's called Dobby. And you start down here in the dungeon. There's a chest that's surrounded by the vines, so you just have to use the light spell and then hit the chest with whatever spell you want, and you get the character token. All right, this is on the way um, down to the boathouse off the covered bridge. This is the southern left of the area. You have to use dark magic to first get into this area. And then as you're way down the stairs, you just switch to a character with a key and they're able to open that, and you get Professor Bins. All right, this is the next to last story mission called Snape's Tears. This is the last section, um, and this is where you start in the boathouse. You need to have dark magic, so once you put that fish that was originally right there up onto the hook, use dark magic on it twice, and you get the Professor Snape token. Okay, this is in uh, Umbridge's office. And I believe you just had to hit the clock with a spell. I think it might have been Reducto, but again, you just get the character token. And if you're using the token detector, you'll know where it is. Okay, this is in the Weasley Wedding. Um, you had to have used dark magic on an object back there, and then you're able to create that disapparition point. And then you're able to come over here to the side. This is at the start of the wedding area. And then you have to use this uh, quibbler box to put together some other instruments. And then there's going to be another little musical breakout sequence. <laughs> and there's nothing you can do. Um, you just have to wait for it to end. I was trying to hit them with spells, but you just have to wait. And you get Ron Wedding. All right, this is in the um, Burning Bridges mission. This is the very start of this sequence. Um, down there is a light, and you have to be Ron to use a deluminator. And you bring it back, and you get, um, when you put the light in the torch, there or the lantern to the right, you get the Weasley box. And then you just use the Weasley character, Ron, to walk up. Then you get the character token. All right, this is back in the Black House. This is the end of that mission. Um... And you just have to use Agumensi to fill up the fish tank, and you get Sirius Black. Okay, this is in the story mission uh, Love Goods Lunacy. You have to be a dark wizard on that treasure chest. And then use dark magic again on the object, and you make the skeleton one appear. I think that's actually the most expensive one. I think Voldemort is only two million, and that one costs five million. All right, this is where you're trying to recruit Slughorn. You have to use dark magic on the gate to open this area. And then a key character, and you get um, one of those little uh, gnomes. The gnomes are spread out around this outside area, but uh, you need dark magic specifically to get that one. There's one up there in the uh, roof of the garage. I'm just showing you the ones that I thought were a little weird. There's another one behind a dark magic gate that you just walk down the area and hit it wasn't too bad all right and then back here by the gate that's our fifth one and we get slughorn pajamas this is at uh, toward the end sequence this is right before you fight off the inferi 
Um, there are three objects, one in each part of this area that you have to use dark magic on. And then when you do the third one, you get Tom Riddle Orphanage. All right, this is that area we were in earlier in the video. Um, the Fiendy Fire mission, if you fly backwards where you have to shoot the water, there are these two backward areas. This is the second one. Once you're able to make that bed, you're able to jump up and get Tom Riddle. We are now back in the Dobby mission, the very start. We're down in the dungeon. You just have to use dark magic on that chest, and you get Wormtail. All right, and now I think this is our last character. We've made it all the way, guys. This is number 200 out of 200. This wasn't my number 200. My number 200 was actually that one on the way to the boathouse um, that you have to use the lock, the key. All right, but... For this one, this is the beginning of the um, Love Goods Lunacy mission. Once you shoot that balloon up for this area and take the kite out, you just keep hitting the um, dirigible plums, and once you knock them all down, you could use the Weasley box to walk up there. You then have to switch to a dark wizard because it's blocked by dark magic. But then when you get the glasses, you can create that bunny, <laughs> um, which makes that peace appear and that'll be our last character hope that helps hope you enjoyed hope you found this useful and thank you very much for watching